Jina yangu naitwa MC Chonjo Steve, mimi ni mkaji wa hapa Mombasa. Na nilikuwa nina toka town. Nilikuwa niko na shughuli huko kama saa moja nilikuwa nakimbilia nyumbani. Kwao niko na shughuli kidogo hapa Chuda, alafu niondoke maana naishi kule Kisimani. Sasa ndio mara moja nikiwa kwa gari yangu nikasikia gari imenipisha upande wangu wa kushoto ikiwa na speed ya haraka sana. So wakati yametuondokea tu kidogo ndio ameingia kando ya barabara ametoka kando ya barabara sasa. Ipo toka kando ya barabara ndio amekutana na mtu na jiwe kubwa ilikuwa pale akagonga ikabingirika mara tatu ile gari ikaenda na ikaanguka upande ule. So ilipo anguka upande ule si tukasimama tulikuwa tunaona hiyo hicho kipindi kinaendelea pale. Tio ndio jamaa yule alikuwa ndani akatoka, tulikuwa na t-shirt ya white hivi na jeans, akaondoka mara moja kwa ile gari ambayo imeanguka na akaenda zake. Yeah, we are getting this from uh, just a, a, a witness who was uh, around here that around uh, 1850 this evening. Uh, a vehicle registration number KCU 115F It is a Toyota Mark X, black in color. It was uh, just cruising at a high speed uh, from Coast General Hospital uh, towards Buxton Junction. Then when it arrived just behind us, where there is a, 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 a bus stop, it feared off. It feared off the road and hit one man, uh, a cyclist who was just pushing his bicycle along the pavement. Uh, what is astonishing is that uh, it's like this vehicle was trying to be the deadline of the curfew because it pushed and hit this motorist, uh, the cyclist, and again it hit, uh, uh, if you can see just behind me, a very big, uh, a very big barrier which was pushed up to where you can see it on the road. Actually, the occupants are being spotted immediately after it hit this person it feared and rolled on the road up to across the other side and these people were seen leaving and escaped moja tu amegongwa tu akiwa upande ule wa kushoto pale because nafikiri alikuwa anasubiri tu matatu ya kwenda kwa so wakati hiyo gari imetoka kwa imetoka kule makandara hospitali ya makandai kija moja kwa moja paka hapa Pakistan ndio ikamuhepa nafikiri alikuwa amesubiri matatu pale so ndio imemgonga tu mara moja na ikamuua alafu ikabingirika mara tatu. Na unafikiri alikuwa ameenda mbio sana? Alikuwa ameenda na speed ambayo haikufaa hiyo speed iwe kwa ni kwa roundabout.